Hi guys, Sandra here of the blog thesensiblemom.com and today I'm going to be unboxing this Bella Ceramic Belgian Waffle Maker and I'm going to be showing you how I use it to make homemade waffles. So let's get started. First, let's open up the box and take out the waffle maker. Alright guys, here is what the Bella Ceramic Belgian Waffle Maker looks like outside of the box. Here on top, there's a control dial and power and ready indicator lights. It also comes with a foldable cool touch handle right here. Now let's take a look at the inside. On the inside, it comes with a scratch resistant ceramic nonstick coating. Very nice. And then finally it comes with an instruction manual for directions on how to use the waffle maker and also for cleaning. Alright guys, now I'm going to quickly clean the waffle maker and then we're going to make homemade waffles. I've cleaned the waffle maker, I've plugged it in and I have it set to medium. Now I'm going to get my ingredients together for the waffles. So I have my ingredients prepped and ready to go and I'm just going to be using a recipe that I shared on my blog for whole wheat waffles. Here's the recipe, which I will also have linked in the description box below if you want to check it out. And I'm not changing any of the ingredients in this recipe. Everything is exactly the same as the recipe I have listed on my blog. So let's go ahead and go over the ingredients. I'll be using two cups of whole wheat flour, but you can use regular all-purpose flour if you want to. Whole wheat flour or the, the regular all-purpose white flour, work. either one works great in this recipe. Two tablespoons of fine ground cornmeal, one teaspoon of fine sea salt, and I'm just using the fine sea salt that we got from Trader Joe's, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and then you're gonna need two large eggs separated. So as you can see, I've separated my eggs and I have the egg whites in this bowl and the egg yolks in the second bowl. You're also going to need four tablespoons of melted butter and then you're going to need one and three fourth cups of buttermilk or soured milk. For this, I'm using one and three fourth cups of almond milk mixed with two tablespoons of vinegar. And this is what it looks like after it's been left standing for five or ten minutes. Again, if you want to use buttermilk, go ahead and use buttermilk. Today I'm using almond milk mixed with the vinegar. And finally, the last ingredient that you need is just a pinch of cream of tartar. As you can see, I've put my pinch in the spoon here. So those are the ingredients you'll need. Now let's put them together and make waffles. First, I'm going to whisk the flour cornmeal, sea salt, and baking soda together, and then set those ingredients aside. Next, I'm going to add the melted butter to the egg yolks and whisk them together then I'm going to add the almond milk mixture and whisk it in. Now I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to beat the egg whites and the cream of tartar with an electric mixer. I'm going to beat these two ingredients together with an electric mixer on medium high speed until soft peaks form.
Now I'm going to mix the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. And now I'm going to fold in the whipped egg whites. Alright, our batter is ready. Now let's make waffles. Alright guys, our waffles are done and they look delicious. The Bella Belgian waffle maker did a great job of cooking them up and I think my favorite part is that I didn't even have to use any cooking spray and they still came out perfectly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. We are going to go enjoy these waffles now and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.